Yeah. We have it. The injection pump is out. And now we're gonna take it to another guy to test it and actually service it and make it ready for us. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. And we can't wait to call the ocean our home. But for that, we still need to finish bringing our wrecked schooner back to life. Luckily, we found an amazing team of Brazilian shipwrights who have been working their magic throughout this rebuild using simple tools, ancient knowledge, and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and we should luck! Wish us luck! luck. <laughs> <laughs> in this video, there are lots of scenes with a very loud background, so don't hesitate to turn on the subtitles that we made for you. But before we go into the video, we want to thank so much Nancy and Joe, Owen and Kurt for joining us on Patreon. And RVPM Designs, Jonathan and Mark for donating through PayPal. Thank you so much. Let's go! The next step was bringing the injection pump to a full service. So we found here this place that was a suggestion from the mechanic. This is on a highway, so it's more for trucks, but they work on pumps, so we are here. And the highway was super full, so we had to take a detour and a third road and it was quite an adventure because we came with a combi but now we are here and we just brought to the guy for him to have a look and told him told us when he could start working but he could start working right now so the pump went through a wash and also it's also being dry it's like right there and yeah let's go All the pressure of every single one of them they have to reach 200 and also not just the number but the behavior of how the whole the four holes have to like really squirt some water and or oil the oil and he set it a couple already and they were all good except for one that instead of really going strong it was more like dripping so we're gonna have a look at that one We believe we found the reason of the oscillation in the acceleration. So this over here in this little hole is where the diesel comes in and this has the movement that compresses it and it causes the acceleration. But unfortunately this part it should be really straight, perfect, shiny with no details on it. And unfortunately we can see without even a microscope that it has some details. And that's probably the reason that it's letting some this will escape and it's not compressing the whole thing and that makes the acceleration change. So we're gonna check the possibility of replacing those. This middle bit should be centered the whole time, but as it turns, the middle part is also moving, which is making everything else move, so that shouldn't be happening. This is one that's being serviced already, and I just want to show the movement, how it should be. It's 
simply flows. And even then, we still don't know if MP might work on the engine engine itself or the mechanic. I'll come here to put, watch this be put together because I think that would be super cool. Another cool thing, once this is all put together, it's going to go through tests to see if everything is perfect how it should. Yeah, so they asked, do you want just half done and let the engine will run or do you want it done properly? And I think we're never going to have this so torn open. apart and yeah. open so we might as well just get done now what we can get done now as it's like this because and it will be like new and this guy knows everything about this specific engine so maybe somewhere else so anyway we'll see what happens later i might be here alone i might be with you but either way lunch time so in any other car we could be just taking the highway to this place for the injector pump so i'm going back there now going to see it getting mounted together uh, the only problem is I think the top speed of our little VW T2 1988 is about 75 kilometers per hour and I don't think it can hold up on the highway or I'm not sure so we're taking that's why we're taking these little side roads and back home in Belgium it bothers me to take these detours because they're normal roads but when I'm over here in Brazil it's quite fun because all these side roads are like so different to what I'm used to so uh, we just came off normal roads, or I, I've just started the detour, which is not taking the highway, it's on a roundabout, and now it's where the fun part starts. And what's crazy is I'm following all along the river, so on my left, I'll permanently have these little shipyards and little uh, places where the fishing boats arrive to go and sell their fish and stuff, so it's quite interesting. So it's been cleaned, it's been put in an acid that bit away all the paint and what's left is just a bunch of clean metal parts. Now the fun bit's coming is putting it all back together so it can be tested. So I think the coolest way to do this is to see it as a time lapse and see it go from nothing to something quickly and then we can test it.
the building part is now finished. It looks nice and shiny. Of course, there's still going to be a primer pot on it and stuff. And it's still open because we're going to take it next door. It's going to get tested. I don't exactly know how that goes, but I'm looking forward to it. And once it's been tested and approved, I'll be heading over to MP and Edu Mechanic so they can start bringing it and putting it back onto the engine. So from what I understand, the way this is going to work is he's going to put the machine to work and he's going to set it at an RPM and th these RPMs represent half of what it would be on the boat and it's going to count how many injections is required to provide a certain amount of diesel into these little parts behind. So he's going to turn that on and I'll see if I can give you some more information later. Also lots of people are asking us why we don't go for a new engine and I'm a person who enjoys experiences of course there's a lot more other reasons why we're still using the same engine but if you get a new engine you don't get to experience all these things and you don't experience seeing someone building an injection pump or a fuel, uh, diesel injector and all that stuff so together MP working with Elio on the engine respraying that's all an experience and having just going to experience this type of stuff for me is one huge reason why, reason why it's fun to actually just rebuild or refurbish an engine which I think is really cool. from 500 injections this inject injector managed to pump through that much diesel Presenting a turbo, of course, it's not acting as a turbo right now, but he's got it attached to a compressor so it can pretend to be one. So we can see that it made more diesel with the turbo, that engine is a turbo engine. diesel and you want each individual one to give each cylinder the same amount of diesel 
Now, what he's doing at the moment is he's seeing the levels of diesel that each injector makes, and he's making small adjustments as he's doing that. And what he does on this end, on that tip, is he chooses how much it produces. Now, you don't, the more diesel it produces, of course, I think, the most power the engine has. But also, you don't want to be throwing diesel out. So we want to, I think he's choosing a standard of this much has to be made for 500 uh, injections, if you see what I mean. So that's what he's measuring now. So he wants 55 milliliters per uh, injector and the second one actually this is the fifth injector is slightly less so that's why he just made this adjustment So this is now finished, it's been dismounted, cleaned, dried, put back together, tested, and now it's gonna be taken off the test machine. A few more parts have to go on top of it, which is gonna hide the injectors or the springs, and then we can just go straight, go and add it onto the engine, because there's still a few more pieces here that will go on, and then done. So the injection pump is in or the injectors are in the car right now it's all finished sun is setting i think it's about 5 p.m we've been here all day the dismounting testing and uh, well the dismounting of the building took no time it was mainly the testing and making sure everything was right before we took it away so it's looking stunning and i can't wait to have this engine in the boat and more than that having the engine working on the water or even just not working because we're going to be sailing but happy this is done with we can now go and do the engine parts unfortunately it's not going to be for today but we're getting another step closer <laughs> 